Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Welcome to our first PU Computer Science online classes. In last class, we know that we already completed some important concept from our introduction to C++. Maybe the concept is the bitwise operator as we know that in our bitwise operator, many of the types or, or such one going to divide into many types correct no here maybe the right shift operator <coughs> left shift operator here or maybe you can say as one's complement of the bitwise operator bitwise and bitwise or and bitwise exclusive or here so many types are there in our bitwise operator and also we know that some of the special operators that is our com comma operator, size of operator, member selection operator or maybe the operator that is the pointer operator and percent and the asterisk here and with that the casting. Okay. Now, we know that we study everything in our last class. Now, let's in today's class we are going to complete some important concept about the precedence of operator correct no and we know that the meaning of the precedence of operator again in today's class also i want to repeat the meaning of the precedence of operator so the first question only i want to use that is the what is operator precedence in c++ now the question is what is operator precedence in c++ <coughs> so we know that if the expression contains multiple operators the order in which the operations are carried out correct no and in last class i know i already said i used one example the example is the x is equal to 7 plus 3 into 2 here so while going to calculate first of all i used the operator the operator is the multiplication then i am going to use the operator that is the plus operator so this is the meaning of the precedence of operator that means we can say if the expression contains multiple operators the operations how we are going to carry out the operations are called as the precedence of operator and such precedence of operator also called as the priority of the operator and the hierarchy of the operators and we know that all operators in C++ have their own level of the precedence have their own level of the precedence or the hierarchy or the priority or the importance of the operators correct not here now let's sum of the following or we can say that the following list to show the level of the precedence so in this list I divided into two column in first column I want to write as the priority and in our second column I am using the side point or side heading of uh, side heading to our second column that is called as the operator precedence clear this point here Elena no uh, one table and no two column are divide maadi kondi dene the first column in a hesaru and priority and the itta idene second column again operator precedence okay kya? so now some of the list that means to which operator we need to give highest priority clear this point here okay so the first operator the operator is called as the parenthesis clear this point here the bracket one normal bracket bracket simple bracket that means maybe in expression if any bracket is that if any uh, values are going to in uh, are going to calculate are going to entered in parenthesis in bracket we need to give importance to such parenthesis values first clear this point here so this is the first priority that is called as the highest priority the highest priority to our parenthesis parenthesis artaita bracket opening bracket and the closing bracket and no parenthesis and the held away okay so the second highest priority that is to our multiplication operator division operator and the modulus operator clear this point here second priority multiplication division and the modulus operator and the third priority we need to give importance to our adaptive that is called as the addition and 
and the subtraction subtraction also called as the minus hagadre third priority now yavudakke kodbeku plus matte minus ige and later next one the fourth priority to our relational fourth and fifth priority or we can say that the fourth priority to our relational operators like our greater than greater than is equal to less than less than is equal to and the fifth priority to our equal sign and not equal to maybe sometimes the data or value is going to equal a value is equal to equal to b or sometimes a value is not equal to b so we can say that after the less than less than is equal to greater or greater than is equal to later words we need to give importance or the priority to our operator like our equal and not equal to here and the seventh priority uh, later next one we can say that after that our sixth priority to our logical and as we know that some of the operators are that in our binary operator are going to classified as the arithmetic operator relational operator and also most important operator that is called as the logical and operator and while going to write the logical and operator we need to use double ampersand sign clear this point here so the next priority after the relational operator the next priority to our logical and and later next one the priority to our logical or here and later words we need to give priority to our logical not here and finally we need to give priority to our equal sign that is called as the assignment operator so artha aitha yakandre ee list kela ondu priority bage helta ide so first of all now yavudakke yava operator ige first of all the importance kodbeku adara nantra next priority third priority, priority fourth priority each and every priority we will give or we will get the list of the level of the precedence in this table here so clear this one first of all so we can say that the explanation of this table as the if the expression in parentheses is calculated first there is no any doubt correct no because in first number in first number i already given the first highest priority that is to our parenthesis that is called as the opening and closing bracket here but maybe in any expression if any or in case of the nested parenthesis namge gottide first of all namge priority priority parenthesis ge kodbeko aadre adhe expression alli maybe any nested parenthesis idre so what do you mean by a nested parenthesis that means we can say that the parenthesis or the bracket enclosed within another bracket is called as the Uh, our nested parenthesis expression clear this point here yavde bandu bracket bandu bracket ide clear this point here so maybe some of the bracket that is called as the nested parenthesis so we can say that in case of the nested parenthesis the expression in innermost parenthesis is calculated first hagadre yavudakke first importance kodbeku ee olagina bracket alli banda expression ige first importance kodbeku adar nantra horagina bracket ge importance now kodtebe clear this point here okay after completing the parenthesis meaning or parenthesis explanation as we know that after the parenthesis the next very importance to our operator like the uh, our um, multiplication and division operator or we can say that the modulus operator and next to our adjective and the minus operator we need to give the importance here and later next one some of the relational or all the operator of the relational operator that are less than less than is equal to greater greater is equal to equal to not equal to here and then priority to our logical or logical and and then priority to our log logical or here and later what's the priority to our logical not and finally the most important last priority that it that is called as to our assignment operator so clear this point here so this is some of the explanation about uh, what is operator precedence in c++ okay after completing some important explanation about the table now let's one example i want to solve so first of all consider the expression now here i already used one expression so the expression is the 5 into opening of the parenthesis 4 plus again i used the parenthesis innermost parenthesis so 10 minus 6 
then closing of the parenthesis divide by 2 then again closing of the parenthesis plus 5 clear this one so this is the expression i just used one question and the question we know that i already re i already read this question in this case here so the question we know that now how to solve this question but before going to solve we can say that here we are not going to so like 5 into 4 plus 10 minus divide by 2 plus 5 now not like that we are going to solve we know that some of the highest most priority we need to give first of all to which operator depend on such rules we are going to solve this type of the expression if they ask the precedence of the operator expression here that means we need to follow the rule of the precedent of uh, precedence of the operator or the priority of the operator or the hierarchy of the operator so here we can say that when after calculating the result will get as the 35 only clear this point so now let's how will how it possible to get the result that is equal to the 35 okay now first of all the first of all i want to start we know that for in this case if the expression or the first of all the expression in the innermost parenthesis is calculated first artha akta idella modlige nan already table alli helidene first of all importance parenthesis ge kodbeko adru kuda parenthesis alli innermost parenthesis idre first of all innermost parenthesis ge importance kodbeko so first of all here we can say that here the expression in the innermost parenthesis is calculated first here so first of all i am taking the value that is 10 minus 6 clear this point here 10 minus 6 now the result of this expression that is called as the 4 yavaga new 10 minus 6 anno ma the subtract martiri 10 in the 6 ge aga namge gottide result 4 namge sigtade correct no so this is our first step here and later next one is we know that here the second step now we need to take the second step here so the result of this expression the first expression result that is equal to 4 correct no e4 unknown and illigate and the dna so we can say that now we are in the second step so the result of this expression correct here the result of this expression is the 4 here and such 4 we need to divide by 2 correct no yeah can the second importance yeah the key code back in this case here so the second importance we need to give to the our divide by 2 now the result is to clear this point here now the result is 2 so that means our second step alli nan gain maadidene first step alli namge gottide innermost parenthesis annu nanu takondidene 10 minus 6 so the result is the 4 here now such a result 4 i am going to use in second step also so in our second step here we can say that the result of this expression that means is divided by 2 so it result is equal to 2 now let's in our third step so in case of the third step here as we know that the second step result is 2 here now such 2 the result of the expression or the uh, we can say that here the expression or the entire value in parenthesis will give the result as the 2 plus 4 will give the result that is equal to the 6 so now yao 4 anno add martha idene yakendra namge gotti de 4 illi namge sikki de 4 divide by 2 the result is 2 only now such 2 is added to 4 so we can say that the entire value in parenthesis will give the result that is equal to 6 illi avarige 6 anta result namge bandi de correct no so hagadre e whole e whole parenthesis in a result namge 6 agi sikki de kya and later next one the step 4 hagadre step 4 ige now yav dhanu use maad beko whether we need to select plus first or we need to select multiplication first we know that because the second highest priority to the multiplication then to our addition operator correct no so now we know that in third step the result is the 6 now 6 is multiplied by 5 okay the 6 is multiplied by 5 so 6 Pfizer 30 clear this point here 6 Pfizer 30 adru kuda namma idu final result allah yakenta helidre namge gottide inno last one value of the expression is left correct no here so we can say that now we know that the result is 30 here now the final the value 5 is added to 
30 so 30 plus 5 so we can say that the whole or the expression result that is equal to 35 only so clear this point here so like that we are going to uh, calculate the result of the expression so clear this point here calculate the result of the expression here so like that only i already said what's the result of such expression phi into opening of the parenthesis 4 plus and opening of the parenthesis 10 minus 6 closing of the parenthesis divided by 2 closing of the parenthesis plus 5 so finally we'll get the result that is equal to the 35 artha ita hege calculate maadi do first of all ge parenthesis ge kodbe को करेक्ट नो क्या parenthesis in this case here and then later next word to our divide operator then to our whole parenthesis then multiplication and finally to our addition operator so we can say that the result is equal to 35 okay now after completing one simple calculation of the expression of such question here now we are in the concept the next concept is the sum equivalent c++ expression kelo me idu kuda question keltare for one mark here. So, we can say that some equivalent C++ expression. Eka new, yaudhe vandhu mathematical, mathematics ali or mass anno new, um, mass anno bariyu vata new hege bariti for example A square, correct no, B square and C square. Hagadre uh, nama computer ali anta A square, B square nama keyboard ali sikta da, no, it not possible to get all those square directly in our or on our computer. Clear this point here? So, but in our computing language such a square we need to write as the a into a clear this point here maybe the a square is that such one going to solve as the a into a plus maybe b square is that b into b plus c square is that c into c c here so like that we are going to solve now let's how to uh, write the expression of our some equivalent C++ expression in computing language. So, first of all, the first question is the AB minus CD. Clear this one? But in our computing language or while going to solve any type of the program, we are not going to write such coding as a AB minus CD. Clear this point here? So, this is just only suitable for our mass expression here. But while going to write in computing language, such AB minus CD going to write as the A in to B minus C into D. Clear this point here? So, A into B minus C into D. So, like that we are going to write. So, this is the answer of the first our equivalent C plus plus expression. Now, let us the second value or the second expression how to write by using the coding language here. So, the question is the x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2j. Namge gotti de idu formula correct no kya. So, this is the formula we, uh, we know. We know that we already used be using in our mathematical or mass in this case here. But while going to write in computing language is it able to write in this uh, way here. So, we can't write. So, such one going to write in coding language as the clear the question now what's the question is this here so now such question going to write in programming computing language as the x is equal to opening of the parenthesis minus b minus square root clear this point here so here just only let's about this one by using such a mathematical formula i'm using the answer so, x is equal to, so here we can say that we need to opening of the parenthesis and later minus b here. So, like that we already return minus b and we know that always when you are going to calculate plus minus, the plus minus that is equal to minus only plus minus that is equal to minus only here. So, here we need to take as the minus here and later next one this square root as we know that on our keyboard such a square root is not there here. We need to write as the SQRT. The SQRT full form only call as the square root. Clear this point here. So, the square root and again opening of the parenthesis as we know that I already explained B square. How to write such a B square? Such a B square going to 
write as the b into b clear this point here maybe b square a square a into a double clear this point here so b into b minus here 4ac that means 4 into a into c here and later we know that we already open the double bracket correct note the parenthesis twice click here so such parenthesis we need to close twice click clear this point here so we already open before the minus b and second parenthesis we open before the square root here correct no here so we can say that after writing the square root we open one more parenthesis bracket here so that means we need to cl uh, close the uh, parenthesis twice click here and later next one is about our divide sign okay such a divide sign we need to write as a divide in this manner and later next one finally 2j we are not going to write as the 2j such one going to write as the opening of the parenthesis 2 into j closing of the parenthesis so artha ita ellarige now yakandre idu now mathematics maths alli bariteve adhe nama coding programming language alli ee tara mathematical language formula use maadlikke agudilla yakandre kela ondu square root athava b square antadella nama keyboard alli sigudilla so because of this or we can say that while going to complete the coding we need to write suitable rules of the c++ programming language so this is the question mathematical question now this is called as the coding of programming <coughs> language here yeah. and later let's the third expression okay here the third c plus plus expression it is very simple why because we can say that the square root of okay a square plus b square plus c square so this is the question how to write in our c plus plus coding programming language this is the square root correct now the square root opening of the parenthesis a square we know that a into a plus as it is b square b into b correct no plus as it is here c into c so like that we are going to solve the expression clear this point here okay and later next one the fourth expression of our c plus plus square root a plus b plus c here so here we can say that going to write as the equal square root opening of the parenthesis a plus b plus c closing of the parenthesis so all are the some explanation about our some equivalent c plus plus expressions now next concept is the type conversion it's a very important concept for five marks and sometimes for three marks or one marks here so the concept name is the type conversions okay so now what's the meaning of the type conversion so we can say that the process of converting one data type into another is called as the type conversion now maybe the confusion the process of converting one data type to another now what about the data type or what are the example for the data type so we know that some of the example of the data type are the int float double void care long all are the example of the data type now here i am going to convert maybe the data type int to float okay int in the float ge convert martine kelave sathi nanu float in the int ge convert maadabodu or maybe the double to the long or maybe the long to the uh, double here or maybe sometimes the data type going to convert from one to another here so this is called uh, this is called as the type conversion so clear the meaning of the type conversion that means the process of converting one data type into another call as type conversion and we know that there are two important very important types are there in our type conversion the types of the type conversion are first one is the implicit type conversion implicit implicit type conversion and the second type is called as the explicit type conversion and such explicit type conversion also called as the type casting clear this point here hagadre two types ide implicit type conversion second one is the uh, explicit type conversion explicit type conversion again in on the hesaru type casting okay now let's the first one is the implicit type conversion or type casting or type conversion okay now what about the implicit type conversion so we can say that this type of conversion is performed by the compiler so clear this point here yavde vandu conversion e implicit type conversion anta helidre 
ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗುವ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಯಾರು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡಿದವರು ಯಾರು ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ಅವ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಸಚ್ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಏನು ದಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಮಷಿನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಚ್ ಒನ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಮಷಿನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಕಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಚ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಸಿಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಡನ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವೆನ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಯೂಸರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಯೂಸರ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ದಿ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ ಸೊ ಸಚ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಸಿಟ್ type conversion clear this point here okay now let's one example for the implicit type conversion now here first of all i used the data type the data type is the int so in this case whatever the conversion is that or whenever you want to use initialize from one value to the another value always should remember it the value going to assign from our from this point to the this point only clear this one here from right side to the left side only don't think about this one maybe you are going to write from left to right but always value going to initialize value going to just convert or value going to assign from one to another that is from our our into to float only clear this point here so here we can say that in this example or the explanation of the first line here so the int data type going to convert to the float data type artha ita illi illi vandu data type int alli ittu ಆದರೆ ಈ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆ ಡಾಟಾ ಟೈಪ್ ಅನ್ನು ಫ್ಲೋಟ್ ಗೆ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ಫ್ಲೋಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ನಾವು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಕ್ಲೇರ್ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ವೇರಿಯೇಬಲ್ ಎ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಡಾಟಾ ಟೈಪ್ ಫ್ಲೋಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದೆ ಒಂದು ಡಾಟಾ ಟೈಪ್ ಇಂದ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಡಾಟಾ ಟೈಪ್ ಗೆ ನಾವು ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಸೊ ಅದೇ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ಟೈಪ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾವು so int in the float ge convert agide next one is uh, now i am going to declare the variable ge by using the data type float so how i am going to declare float ye semicolon we know that the statement going to terminate by using this semicolon okay so idu declaration one variable declare agide namge gottide yavde ondu variable program alli use maduva munche first of all we need to declare the variable so declaring the variable by using the data type and terminate the variable termination anta helidre ending of the statement okay terminate the statement by using the semicolon and later after declaring now i am going to use some value to the variable so value i am providing to the variable that is equal to 5 clear this part here a variable ka nanu kela ondu value or ondu value kodtene so value estu kodta iddene ee example alli a value is equal to 5 hagadre 5 value namma elli ide ಎ ವೇರಿಯೇಬಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೇ ಕ್ಯ ಲೇಟರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪೈಲರ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ದಿ ಫೈನಲ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ 5 point in this case here that means the fractional point okay so the 5 point 1 2 3 4 5 6 totally 6 zeros will get uh, did you remember in our uh, uh, in our fractional point clear this point here in our while going to complete the constant exploration i used one type of the uh, point i i used one type of the constant that is the uh, fractional correct no the floating point constant in this case and in case of the floating point point constant
and may be the double and long okay now so in case of the float what i said the float provide at least six significant digit after the decimal the float provide at least six significant digit after the decimal and require 32 bit of storage artha aagta idiyalla yakendre nan constant concept alli nanu fractional point ada nantra ondu three real values ina bagge helidene adralli float anta point ide aa float point heluvaga nan en heli then that means provide at least six significant digit after the decimal point clear this one after the decimal in this case yeah decimal point so 1 2 3 4 5 6 six significant digit after the decimal so this is the answer of the value of g is equal to 5 that means we can say that this type of conversion is performed by the compiler software correct now performed by the machine here so uh, if you are taking the data type as the float that means uh, after the value it providing six significant digit after the decimal point maybe if you are going to declare as a Uh, as a double in this case that means how many data how many uh, decimal point that means uh, it provide the 10 decimal correct no uh, that means 10 digit after the decimal point in this case here yeah. so depend on the data type it going to provide that means all everything is uh, done by the compiler so this is about our implicit type conversion so clear the meaning of the implicit type conversion okay now later next one is the explicit type conversion as we know that such explicit type conversion is also called as the type casting so first of all the meaning before going to know the example kya the meaning that means here this type of conversion is performed or done by the user so type casting that is called as the explicit type conversion so this type of conversion is performed by the user kya clear this one this is implicit that is performed by the compiler machine but this type of conversion just only performed by the user here so the example now int x semicolon one variable i want to declare the name of the variable is the x here and i am declaring by using the data type as the int semicolon and like that many variables are there here i need to declare to the program it is just only the example it is not the program should remember it here and later so like that here some points are that that means we are going to declare some other variable one by one each and everything and with that i also declared one more that is the float x clear this point here as we know that but because in this case here whatever is that the x now going to change such data type to the float clear this point here so this point means here what i what are the or what's the work i did here that means i just changed the data type that is from into to float clear this point here into to float so because of this in the third line the flow, x value variable declared by using the data type as the float clear this point here and later next one after declaring also i need to declare some other variable just to get or to just to get the result here so the variable name are the sum and the count and going to declare by using the data type as the int in this case here so artha aagta idiyalla modalige nan ondu variable declare madidene yavudu data type tokondu int data type tokondu so e point number alli nanu aa int data type annu float ge convert madi dene so just only the third step showing to which we converted the data type of the x variable data type it going to uh, use in this case here so float x semicolon and the fourth point that means in fourth step just only some other variable i need to declare that is the sum and the count in this case here the sum and the count here and by using the data type as the int clear this point here using the data type as the int and later next one is after that later after that one more variable i need to declare the name of the variable is the average clear this point and such average going to declare by using the data type as the float okay kya by using the data type as the float in this case here and later next one just only in last column i want to make the calculation of the average and here we know that uh, we already declared sum and count by using the data type as the end but it is that means here this type of conversion may be from one data type to another this type of conversion is uh, performed by the user here so such a sum and count just only first i declared as 
as the int now just i want to change such type conversion to the data type float here so this is called as the explicit type conversion the meaning is very simple that means we converting from one data type in the in one data type we just convert madudakke now type casting anta helteve or type conversion anta helteve so clear this point here so we can say that it is very important so this one this type of conversion performed by the compiler but explicit this type of conversion is performed by the user thank you don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates